running, playing, and laughing with friends. It's kind of scary a little bit, you know, going one day at a time. All Jaheen Dansby's father admits was taken for granted before the accident. We caught up with the seven-year-old as he returned to William Harrison Park. He's temporarily in a wheelchair. I know when we pulled up, he got wide-eyed, you know, looking, you know, back here again. But I don't know. I mean, it's just a park, you know, for kids to play in. He's not expecting nothing like this to happen. It was on January 20th when police said a driver of a pickup truck lost control on Oleana Avenue and crashed into the playground filled with children. Swings, what? You're doing the Leaving Jaheem hit and pinned under the truck, he was rushed to University Hospital along with two of his friends. All three were initially listed in critical condition. Family members say Jaheem suffered a broken leg and had to undergo surgery. Now that was scary, you know. Walking in that room the way he was laying there with, you know, face, debris, blood, and that was scary. Didn't know what the stench was of his, you know, his accident. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that day was, I don't really want to go through that again. Now on the road to recovery, Charles Dansby says he wants justice for his son. And while police continue to investigate the crash. He's waking up just looking and seeing his face every day. Dansby is grateful it wasn't worse. He's still here with us, you know. You know, I don't know. Can't, can't put words to it, you know. I love my kids to death.